As the calendar turns to 2013, we get a fresh start to commit ourselves to finding a new job if you are looking for one. So what are the best resolutions for job seekers? Well, career coach Donald Cernikowski from Ascend Career and Life Strategies is here to answer your questions this morning. All right, Don, this one is big. We always talk about the New Year resolution, New Year's yes. resolution. Sometimes they're hard to keep, but when it comes to finding maybe a new job, what are some things you want to start with? Well, I think this is a great time of year, Nick, for job seekers to make those New Year's resolutions to definitely increase their chances in the job market. And number one is to have a plan. Don't wing it. The job market is much more competitive now than it was even five years ago. So some key components to a job seeker's plan should include a target list of companies that they want to work at, whether they're hiring or not, a target list of networking groups, associations, one-on-one -on -one contacts, definitely a plan for upgrading their skills, a 30-second introduction that communicates their job search goal, and then a daily to-do list to put all these action items together. Have a plan. And you want to have a plan, uh, having a plan, that's crucial for, for any uh, New Year's resolution as well to, in order to keep it, because that's what they say when you have a New Year's resolution. If you're not committed to it, it's never going to happen. You have to have the commitment. You're just going to be disappointed in yourself. Uh, some things you can do to maybe update your own image, too. I can imagine that would be uh, something you'd want to do. Image is everything in the job search, Nick, and most experts will agree that professional appearance has a, a major outcome on somebody's uh, rate of success in their job search. How they look can make all the difference. And now is the time to take action on that as retailers really try to compete for your business. So for cost-conscious consumers, they can take a look at Groupon and Living Social for maybe makeovers, grooming, hair cuts. I'm a big fan of TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Macy's has some outstanding deals right now and watch for those coupons in the paper too. It may be a big expense too, but also you might want to upgrade your, your technology and go to a smartphone that could help, right? Employees right now, Nick, are required in many instances to be on call, so to speak, and they really should have a device where they can gain emails, check messages, uh, utilize applications and websites when they're off the job. So it's very, very important. You also don't want to be showing up to a job interview with a circa 2000 cell phone and talking about your AOL and MySpace account. So technology <laughs> is definitely everything. Yeah. And for those who are conducting a job search on the stealth, they can upload a resume to the smartphone and the early bird catches the worm. So when you get that call from a recruiter or a networking contact, you have your smartphone, you can send off a resume immediately. And there's places you can keep your resume as well as uh, social networking sites like LinkedIn and you want to be involved with those as well? LinkedIn is a definite New Year's resolution for any job seeker. If someone's looking for a job right now aggressively, if they don't have a LinkedIn account, you have to set one up and it's free. LinkedIn is kind of like your personal website promoting your brand and your product. You can use it as an account management tool for your networking contacts and find other networking contacts within target organizations and hiring managers too. Nick, I'm hearing more and more from some of our clients that they're, quote, being found on LinkedIn proactively by recruiters. So set up an account, keep it neat and clean, and utilize the tool. It's, a, it's the power of networking, right? And it's the new age networking. And so how important is it to focus on networking when you're looking for a new job? One of the biggest faux pas I see as a career coach is that job seekers are still focused on searching major job boards. Mm -hmm. Facts are, between 1% and 3% of all job seekers will get hired via using a major job board, but 80% of all jobs go unadvertised, so you need a plan for tapping into the hidden job market. Once again, utilizing LinkedIn and finding hiring managers, utilizing your networking contacts, and getting out there and networking. I mean, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, right. not just over the computer. So once again, researching trade groups, associations, meetups, really making some time to get out there, meet people. That's how most people get hired there. Imagining that happens, uh, that'll help you and when you go into your interview, too. You're more comfortable when you sit down for that job you really want and need, right? Definitely. All right, Definitely. Don, thanks for being here this morning. Thank Great you for tips, having me. as always. You can find more information in the on air section of our website at kdvr.com. Just click on the link to Ascend Career and Life Strategies.